I leapt through the doorway, and when I did, I found another nightmare. Oh! I hope I saved last time I played this. I, I can't. I can't really remember right now. Please tell me, brother, save though. Abstraction. No dancing yet, no dancing yet. No dancing yet, no dancing yet, no dancing yet. Hey, hey, yeah. One. I think it was 10 1. I was reading that as 110. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I get fucking pissed. Oh my leg, oh my leg. What? Good job. Hey, to some more dang and rumpa. Let me see who's up inside of these classrooms. I need some answers. I'ma go, I'ma go, I, I need some answers and I'ma go snatch them. I'ma go blast them. I'ma go, I don't know. This is the desk I woke up on when I first got here. The little pamphlet is still here. I have absolutely no desire to look at it ever again. Uh. Someone! C come here! What? That was Hina. She's, someone come here! She's supposed to be checking the third floor. There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. Oh shit, this episode started off lit as a bitch. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I started standing there in the hallway. Please! M Mikado! Hina, what's wrong? It, it's awful! The rec room door was open, and when I looked inside, I saw, I saw... What did you see? I'd better get the others, right? I, I'm gonna go get him. You going ahead, Mikado? Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room? What does she see in there? At this point, I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. We already know it's gonna be a dead body, bro. I just don't know who it is. This episode started with the shits today. The first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... Ooh. It was Celeste, and she was hurt. That's it? There's just Celeste in here? Uh, uh, Mikado! C Celeste, what happened? Uh, I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked by uh, who? I am not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? Uh, A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Let me see that. What is it, a golf club? You finna do some croquet? What is this? It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. Pretty strange design. That's season six uh, 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 pickaxe. There's some writing on the head. Justice Hammer 1. That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow. But I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer won. Mikado Celeste. That's Hina, huh? Yeah. Okay. I found Sakura. What? Sakura. C -C Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Mm -hmm. uh, strange man. Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, it hap it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over, but I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... Mm -hmm. And that's when you were attacked. Uh. It happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock, huh. then that was just about an hour ago. 
right when we were all meeting in the di- in the dining hall. Ugh. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. But well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. Ugh. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. Hmm. You did. As for me, I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. Lick his boots? Really, you offered to lick the man's boots? Who in their right mind, if they're getting ready to kill somebody, wants their boot licked? Bitch, I'm finna, I'm finna shove it down your throat with a brutal, with a brutal, uh, uh, Captain Falcon uh, kick. Falcon kick? Yeah, that's finna go down your throat and kill you. You want me to lick my boots? It's finna be covered in blood. Lick something else. I see. So you were willing to throw away all your pride? Indeed. It is necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. What do you mean by that? Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? <laughs> when I looked in the... Oh, yeah, Celeste, she's so guilty right now. What are you talking about? Oh, I, oh, I, I didn't read that. I didn't read that. How, how do I go back to how do I go back to uh uh uh, uh, uh a dialogue? Hifumi. Hifumi. After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Um. Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste. Did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Uh. Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us. Indeed. This is Ifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... Actually... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously? Let's see it! <laughs> I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Hold up, bro. I can kind of scroll back on my own real quick and see see what I saw. Okay, so she said, When I looked in the rec room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had Hifumi with him. Okay. Interesting. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Huh? What did this turn into? Transformer Digimon? Huh? What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Their face is covered. What are they wearing? Where do you even find that suit at? Why is he so big for? Who the fuck is that? Nobody here is that tall. Is that a robot costume? Okay. As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged Hifumi away, okay. and I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago, which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but... Hmm. The point is, someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away, and it happened over an hour ago. Just a second! Huh? This is bad! We have to hurry! Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see... When they left the rec room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they were headed towards the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Hmm... The second floor! That's where Kyoko was supposed to be! Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Sorry, I, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry, Kyoko's in danger. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. Ugh, this episode lit. Hey, who's it? Hey, you two. What? What's going on? What's all the fuss? Where have you been at, dude? What? 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 Yeah! You guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? You gotta be kidding! Nope, nope, sure haven't! <laughs> are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. 
I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. <laughs> We came here together. Stop talking. No. <laughs> no, you're just stalking me. Stop talking. Uh, anyway, can you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? <sighs> There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. It sounds like something ish and interesting is going on. Okay. Fumi, Kyoko, if you could hear me say something. Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Say something. Something. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. The library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. Mmm. We opened up the door to the library. <laughs> Hold up. I know this dude Fumi did not get into a fight, shed some blood, but still survive. You gotta clap it up for Fumi. This is the first time we've seen somebody survive a fight like this. Hifumi of all people? Uh, God. It hurts. It hurts. We found Hifumi seriously injured. Look at his eyeballs. Why are your eyelids clenched that hard, dude? You got Pac-Man Pac lids. Uh, are you okay? Um. He, he got he got duck luck duck lip lids. Um, let me stop. I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> oh, it's super bad, Joe. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? <laughs> that guy hit me. What guy? <laughs> oh, that moan in my ear. Stop. Robo justice. Er, actually, I decided to call him just now. What? What did you say? What the fuck? What you talking? And that was not the time. Duh, I know. <laughs> that, that guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you are referring to is. This is it. This. Is it not? Oh. What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> right? This is the one that, that attacks Celeste and Ifumi. Isn't that right, Ifumi? <laughs> This is unforgivable! Robo Justice! It uh, can't be! Robo Justice, huh? Damn! This just keeps getting stranger. Can we finish talking about it? <laughs> Let me talk to Celeste real quick. I got I need more questions from you, girl. <sighs> I am glad to see he is still alive. Oh, that's it? What about Sakura? No, I'm not clicking that. Hmm? Okay. He know what you gotta say. Hmm. Do you know something about Robo Justice? What did you- Okay. Maybe, maybe genocide? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Fat boy took a serious lacking! <laughs> Alright, that's all you gotta say? Oh, the mallet. Is that number two? It's a hammer, just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room, but this one is Justice Hammer 2? And on top of that, this one's actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with that hammer, he bumped me right on the head with it! Well... A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay! I'm not okay! Look at all this blood! Hey! Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? <laughs> I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <laughs> okay. We, I had a feeling. I had a feeling you was up to something. Oh! It's him! <laughs> Robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does he have? Can it fly? Can it combine? Yeah! <laughs> What? Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah! 
You're right, let's go! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Poor Hifumi. We moved Hifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. Hmm. How you feeling, Hifumi? You want me to take a look at you? Um. I I'm okay. I think I stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So then... Perhaps you should rest here a while. I suppose. Yeah, good idea. Well then. The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. Before another victim appears. The justice hammers seem to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So in other words... If there is a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. Oh! If you could hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure! Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. Um... Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, and that's when that strange costume man attacked me! Hmm... That must be what I witnessed around at around 7 a.m. this morning. Well... After that, he dragged me to the library, and whack! Down came the hammer! That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. <laughs> I was in the laundry room, doing my laundry. Yes! His black underwear is as- Oh, hold on, I'm doing it for me, boys. His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness of the blackest night! <laughs> what? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking! Anyway, so that means Kuya and Soko were together at the same time. Meaning they also have alibis. And the only ones who don't have alibis for what Celeste and Ifumi were attacked are... Taka. Hero and Taka. That's it, right? Oh, wow. Very strange. Hero? And Taka! <laughs> By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Oh, yeah. She was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. <sighs> Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I suspected. H hold on! Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Ifumi were attacked, so... <laughs> I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? In other words... I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Maybe. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? Kyoko has been like too helpful with all this, but I mean that would make sense for her to be the master, the the mastermind helper. But like, I don't know. She give me, she don't give me backstabber vibes. Th that's not possible. What? Isn't it? This woman who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey, save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taki and Hiro haven't shown up yet. Sh she's right, and we have to do something about that mystery man first. Um... Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest up for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well, then. Okay, let's go. Hmm... So whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for reasons from that from a deviant. What to do? What to Show. do? What are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Huh. Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? <laughs> I saw a shadow. Something moving around at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Really? Oh! Ooh, she ready! Up on the second floor then! You bastard! You won't get away from me! We all shot towards the stairs. This episode lit! <laughs> he must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. Well. But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Oh! 
Okay, but what should we yell? Just a second! Anything, it doesn't matter! So then... Then is... Ha! Okay. What are you saying? Ha! Or do ya? Or whatever you want, just yell loud enough so we can hear you! <laughs> <laughs> do ya? I have never heard such a rea- What is she laughing about? See what I'm saying? Something about her, bruh. She dragged us upstairs, then she started throwing distractions about what to yell. What? Celeste, you too obvious. Okay, whatever, just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go! <laughs> hey, Mr. Robo, where you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya! We spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Um, I'm like, do I check the bathrooms first? Sure. I don't care if it's the girls. Check it! Hello? I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm not gonna... ah! That strange cry. That had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. I sprinted up to the third floor. Everyone! Over here, everyone! Everyone who heard the scream had come Just around. a second! Celeste, what's wrong? What? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. <laughs> I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He must be down this hall. Come on, let's go. Come on, bruh. I can't be the I can't be alone and feeling like this, bruh. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> uh, look at her mouth and snot. Ugh. Fuck did you sneeze? I mean you was with Kuya for a while, I'm just saying. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's really true! But that doesn't matter right now! Who was that? Huh? What, what was that? It came from downstairs. It, it must have been. Hey, fool me. He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What? What about the suspect? We've all gone through this trouble to capture him, right? Hmm. Then why don't we split into two groups? It's all clear now. I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. So then... Very well. The Mikado and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Kuya. So then... We'll handle it. Just go take care of it, Fumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all right down to the first floor. Uh... Just a second! He's in the nurse's office! Let's go! Um, I'm there. We stole into the nurse's office, and, w and what greeted us was a world of dripping crimson. No, no, no. 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 Bruh. Not him, bruh. Not him, bruh. Bruh, not him, bruh! Why is he already dead? This must mean that this game coming to a close. Like, there, there can only be like five chapters, bro. There's no way that my favorite voice... Man, rest in peace for me. This one for you, bro. And in the center of all this red was... It's stinking here now, Fuck. It probably smell like Hafumi death right now. Damn, rest in peace, Hafumi. What did you hear? You, you, you hear... No, I'm not even gonna play with his spirit, Hafumi. Get out of my room. Satan, the Lord, rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Keep your spirit out my face. Hifumi. No! What, what the... It looks like something very bad has happened. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi okay. would be murdered. No way! M murdered? You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? There it is.
Monokuma. Wow, y'all. That's crazy. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the? Okay. That was the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement. When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... Mm. It must mean Hifumi. Someone killed him. One of us. One of us? Uh. And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. Number three. Where the f*** is, uh, is Hero at? Hero, there's no way you was getting in her inner room smoking big doink this whole time. There was no way after we didn't ran from second floor to third floor to second floor to first floor to third floor to second floor to first floor that your ass was in, in the back somewhere in your dorm room going like this. <laughs> oh, there's no way. There's not enough doink in this school for you to smoke. Period. Like, how are you going to get it in? Who's your supplier? Damn, it was Mondo, huh? You stole his stash? Okay. Okay. Another hammer. Justice hammer number three. And it's even bigger than the other two. Okay. And, and, the, thing about, uh, and the thing about Hero, that dude is kind of tall. But he's been scary this whole time, and I, I doubt he's built for murder. I doubt he's built for murder. Just as I suspected, one strike from that, and you are finished. Then the killer. There can be no doubt, the suspicious individual, going by what Hifumi called him, the culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume is the one. Oh, whoever's hiding in that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. But, wait, you saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall? So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they, like, teleported or something, right? Are you okay with this? We can figure that part out later. Right now, we have to tell the others. See what I'm saying, though? You, you're right. So then... Then shall we go? And then her eyes shift whenever she... Ugh, man! Like, Hina shook. Hina is shook. You know she had nothing to do with this. <sighs> Hina, Hina, whatever your name is, snap out of it. Huh? 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 Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kind of... Hmm. This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. <sighs> Very well. I leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. This is where everyone was just chasing after these suspicious individual. Where was he headed? He ran off, yeah, down the hall. I already know he's down the hall. He ran off going further down the hallway. Way into the back of the hallway? Damn, where at? Look at this big ass hallway. What? The physics wrong? As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence. Is it coming from over there? In the back? I leapt through the doorway, and when I did, I found another nightmare. The second nightmare of...
I don't need this to be Sakura. Anybody but Sakura. Please, Genocide Jack. Oh! Oh! There, in a pool of his own blood, was Taka dead. Oh, shit. Oh, look, secure a body in uh, Robo, Robo Justice. Ifumi's body, discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body, discovered in the equipment room. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after another. No, they weren't nightmares. This is harsh reality. Why is it like he writing a diary, reading this shit? The true nightmare is this reality. The reality I have to face every day. But still. Why is this happening? F Are you good? Wake up. T Toko? Don't tell me. Toko too? Hm. Relax. She just passed out when she saw the blood. The blood? Oh, that's right. When Toko is, um... Toko. She has a fear of blood, huh? We tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. It's like he said, I should just leave her alone for now. I don't want to talk to you, Kuya. I do not want to talk to you. Damn. I'm oh my gosh. Taka. Damn it! Why did this happen? I'd be a lot more angry than that if I just saw a dead body. I'm just saying. I'm like, where's the mallet? Look at this big ass. M That's not a hammer anymore. That is a mallet. Another hammer. Now it's just this hammer number four. And it's even bigger than before. Whose hammer is that? Uh, King DDD? Like, what the f? Look how big that thing is. Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? However. But. Why is it Justice Hammer number four? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. Celeste was attacked with Justice Hammer... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> number one. Then Ifumi was hit with Justice Hammer number two. But this time, it was Justice Hammer number four. What happened to number three? Ah! What? <laughs> they don't know about that. They don't know about Ifumi yet. That's sad. What's the matter? W well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer number three, you just reminded me. What? Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. Hifumi's dead, too. What? What? Hey! Hifumi's been killed! Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we'd better go check it out. Damn! Of course! Come on! Fuck, man. Sasakura, Kuya, and I rushed out of the physics lab. But as soon as we were out of the physics oh. lab... Ah! Celeste, aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? Okay. S something has come up. Hm. Yeah, I heard. Hifumi is dead, right? Indeed. Well, that is not all. It is gone. Huh? What's gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared? What are you talking about? Okay. Hifumi's body has disappeared. What? What? What did you say? What are you talking about? It's disappeared? Don't be ridiculous. What kind of shit is Celeste on, y'all? Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is hey! happening here? Everyone, back to the nurse's office. Why would you go back to the nurse's office if she just told you the body was stolen? Wouldn't you want to stay by the body? Or would you want to just go back for the plot to continue? I feel what you're saying. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. Hifumi's body was just a few minutes, was there just a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared? Hannah, come on, man. Me and Celeste went to the bathroom, but we were only gone for like a minute. And then when we got back. Indeed. 
This must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. Okay. We're all going to die here. We're going to die just like those guys died. What, what did you say? I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Why? First, there were two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken? This is... unnatural. Uh, okay, I missed the beat. I missed the beat. It's cool. Huh? I'll get it next time. Huh? Hold on, what do you mean two murders? Uh, uh, Hina. Taka's been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! Uh, it, it can't be! Saka 2? It can't be! It can't be! No! Hina! Calm down! We're, we're all gonna die! All of us! They're gonna kill all of us! <laughs> then who might the next target be? Toko? Huh? What? I completely forget! She's still unconscious in the equipment room! So not only did you leave a, a dead body, which obviously are being took up right now, but you left an unconscious body waiting to get their throat slit. Are you serious? Y'all are the worst group of authority I've ever seen. She's still, un she's still unconscious in the equipment room! Well... You left her at the scene of the crime? Hmm. We didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. Huh? So she is still unconscious. Damn. Wait. So you knew she was still up there and said nothing. Why? <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be better off without her. Bastard! <laughs> Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone, stop fighting. Right now, we need to hurry back. Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Damn. Kuya, if something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> Damn, we just laughed in her face. I mean, we for sure got our leg work out in for today. Sakura, you good? Are you still gonna hit the gym later and do 5,000 reps? You said 6,000? All right, for sure, I'll see you tomorrow. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. And when we got there... Toko! Thank God you're okay, but the body gone. But right away I noticed there was something very different here. It was gone. Taka's body, which should have been right here. What was that static shock just showed up? A new challenger is here? New fighter approaching. What the f was that sound? Th this is. This can't be happening. Uh, are we ha oh, hallucinating all this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before, and what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. These lines is terrible sometimes. Huh? He got whacked right on the top of the head. Like, that was all brain damage immediately. W what? Are you saying Taka disappeared too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has hidden the body. But why would they do that? <laughs> I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Okay. Anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. Huh? We gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us! Not possible. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Hmm. Think about it. Who could be who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Well. Um. Hmm. When Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone here was together on the third it floor. Is so. After that we split into two groups. Hmm. And now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Mm. 
Kyoko, you're not looking too good right now. But Hero, how much weed do you have, dude? It's in his hair. He snuck it in through his hair. H hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi from when Celeste and Ifumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. <laughs> you seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are in love? Th that's not it at all. That's fine. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspicious individual we are looking for can be none other than Hero. <laughs> Which further means there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule is in place, there will not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule... Shing! I meant ya! Mince you without a single thought! Mince you, grind you, turn you into paste! By the way, did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish? Like shrimp or crabs? Hmm. <laughs> what? Indeed. Let's see... So, since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Kuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. <laughs> I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. Kuya always two steps ahead, bruh. Like, uh, he playing the game well. He played this like he on Big Brother. Death Edition. In other words... Y'all be watching Big Brother? I'm trying to get on that show one day. Or at least I was when I was a kid. I still might do it. Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies? Two people have been killed and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, the only one who could have done it, is Hiro. But, is he really the killer? And what about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where does she go? What? Hey Mikado, what's the matter? Huh? Oh, uh, no, no, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> whatever. We don't need to find those... W oh, <laughs> whatever. We need to find those bodies, or our little narrative here can't move forward. So then... Very well. Then let us split up and begin searching. But... But... <laughs> there is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. Because, I mean... I, I know that. I mean, I think I do, but... Hina. If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Oh, okay, thank you. Hmm. No need to thank me. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell out if you need anything, or if you find anything. <sighs> Kuya left the equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. Ugh, this just heated up out of nowhere. That's the thing, like, there's always, it goes like this, y'all. It goes filler, plot, climax. Search for clues, class trial, and then, yeah, then then after the class trial, filler, then some more plot, then some climax. Right now we in the climax. We didn't see the people get killed. We didn't see a lot of sh shifty, shady things though. My suspects right now, Celeste, just because she was kind of orchestrating us to go up and down the stairs. Why was she doing that? And it was like, when we got to certain spots, she started to bullshit a little bit, like with the whole, what do I scream out? Like, come on now. Then she sent us to the back of the room. Then she sent us downstairs. Then she sent us back to, back to Toko. It was just like, I don't know, man. Hero for sure though. Hero, where are you? Where is he in all of this? He has so much explaining to do next episode. I cannot wait to see what he got to say. Kuya, he's smart. He, he, he is he a sneak player, bro. Like, he's gonna be somebody that's probably gonna make it to the very end. I don't know where Kyoko at. Maybe Kyoko is with Hiro. Mmm. I have a feeling Kyoko gonna try and vouch for Hiro and be like, it's not him. But then who do we blame? I don't know. Hina just looks like she just lost. Like, she do, she don't want to be there. She mad that she even, like, is good at anything. She's like, man, I wish I, I, I wish I wasn't so, uh, 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 what is even her, uh, her reason for getting in? Is it her athletic prowessism or, no, that's Sayaka for real. With that being said, man, uh, I can't wait for the next episode. Again, I'm trying to get these out every other day, but sometimes I miss a day. It's all good. We're still, we're still grinding it out. 
Um, I love each and every one of you. If you are new, wait a minute, I'm doing this all backwards. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please leave a thumbs up on this on this video. Again, seriously, leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoy the series, please. Uh, if you are new, please subscribe for more videos and turn that notification bell on. And as always, I love each and every one of y'all. Tickle, tickle, whoa, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. All right, y'all. What kind of luck is it? Is it insecurity? I can do it too. I can do it too.